383 V8 MPI. We have two different kits available um, to order. Uh, you'll need to know if you're dealing with a, a dry joint exhaust system versus a non-dry joint exhaust system. On this particular engine here, as you can see, this is a dry joint uh, exhaust system. The easiest way to, to determine this is you can see this piece right here, and uh, it's on both sides, versus uh, this is one that we have this is a non-dry joint you can see it's just uh, flat here on the back um, just normally has a plug or a, or a fitting uh, in that location there and there's the difference between the two remove the hose the straight fitting and the plug out of both sides of the uh, the manifold and riser. Locate the thermostat housing and the temperature switch and sending unit on both sides of the, uh, the housing and remove those sending units. And also the pipe plug and keep all of these, uh, they will be used here in uh, later instructions. Now we're going to disconnect all of the hoses on the thermostat housing. Uh, we're going to dis uh, discard the existing thermostat housing, uh, the bolts, the thermostat, and the gaskets off of the unit. Now we're going to disconnect the sensor wire going to the shift uh, bracket mechanism here, remove the four screws and remove this exhaust elbow. Remove all the wiring connected to this elbow. Install the straight fitting into the top of the manifold. Install the new exhaust elbow block off gasket. As you can see the difference between the two here. Uh, the, the smaller hole on the original one and the larger hole here 
on the new gasket. Uh, both of these ends are completely blocked off. This flange right here, it's got a little arrow that says up. That's to face in the up direction. Install the short 90 degree fitting into the elbow before you install it onto the manifold. And go ahead and tighten it in, uh, until it's kind of in an upward position and you can adjust it from there once it's installed. Go ahead and tighten down all of the hardware and don't forget to hook up your wiring back into the engine wiring harness. After you tighten down all the hardware, don't forget to reconnect all of the uh, wiring that you disconnected uh, before the removal of the exhaust elbow. Install studs into thermostat housing location in the intake manifold. Apply silicone to the uh, thermostat gasket. install the new housing as you can see there's no thermostat the new thermostat is going to be inside the heat exchanger install the pipe plug in the top of the housing and install or reinstall the sensors that we took out of the thermostat housing reinstall the wiring back onto the sensors
connect this hose from the thermostat bypass outlet to the thermostat bypass inlet on the heat exchanger. Okay, connect the hose here on the heat exchanger and connect the other end down to the exhaust uh, riser. And connect it on the opposite barb on the heat exchanger and down to the uh, riser that connector there or fitting okay connect the hose on onto the uh, the manifold fitting Okay, connect the other end of the hose that we uh, just connected to the uh, manifold to the barb here at the thermostat housing. Okay, connect this hose uh, from the exhaust manifold uh, fitting to the open uh, thermostat fitting uh, facing in that direction. Trace down the outlet hose uh, coming out of the seawater pump. And install this hose extender into the end of it. Okay, reroute the uh, seawater uh, hose that you just put the extender on back to its uh, normal location here where the thermostat housing was and locate the inlet side of the heat exchanger and measure measure from the uh, from the barb on the inlet side of the heat exchanger uh, to your brass uh, uh, extender that you added onto the hose and then measure uh, and cut the appropriate hose uh, to match. After connecting the hoses or the hose on both ends go ahead and tighten down the worm clamp. Install the 90 degree fitting into the coolant overflow tank. Mount reservoir onto the front of the heat exchanger. Connect the hose from the heat exchanger cut to length 